Uh, everyone, uh, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, verify your domain name in the uh, Facebook uh, Events Manager. Uh, there's a lot of things that have happened since the late 2000, 2020 when uh, Apple iOS uh, upgraded to iOS 14, which make it a bit difficult to actually uh, measure and track. And uh, one of the way you can do this is by verifying your domain name. Um, before you can verify your domain name, you need to make sure that you actually have a business manager's account. If you don't have uh, a business manager's account, you will not be able to actually uh, verify your domain. Name. So I have this new ad account that I just created. And uh, because I have a pixel on the website, on those uh website that are attached to that uh, ad, my ad account, uh, I need to verify it. So uh, if you, so this is a fresh ad account. Yeah, this particular account is a fresh ad account. There's nothing there. And if you go to campaign here, you can see it's a fresh ad account that I want to start using. I have some other ad accounts, but this one is fresh. And uh, when you go to this account overview here, uh, what you see there is uh, I have five domains and uh, with, uh, with iOS 14 update, uh, can actually verify up to eight domain to actually prioritize uh, the events that I want to optimize for. So how do you do that? So one of the prerequisites is you need to make sure that you have an ads uh, business manager. So if you don't have business manager to set up a business manager, uh, you can just go to uh, business.facebook slash overview, business.facebook slash overview. Then you log in with your Facebook account and select one of your Facebook page uh, to get started. And that's it. So you can now begin to add that account. Business manager is one uh, one way else, one of where you can manage all meta tools. Talk about Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp included, add account. It's also good for collaboration. It's more powerful. Even you can have ads manager. You can have up to five ads manage ad account inside a business manager. There's some other videos about that on this channel as well on business uh, manager. Okay, so, but the purpose of this uh, is to verify the domain name. So if I click this now, remember from account overview, if I click this now, it will take me to Facebook events uh, manager, and I will see the list of all the domains that I'm here to verify. These are domains that I use for my business, um, a digital new life promoter. Yes, so, uh, and uh, I, Data is priority for me, basically. Yeah, data is priority. And you can see why web event configuration. Uh, view and manage event configuration for iOS 14 and above for better ad optimization on primary domain that associated with my business account. So these are primary domain associated with my business account. And I can do up to eight. Uh, if you can see this like this, you find out that I've already verified this, verified, verified. So I'll just show you how to easily verify this. So apart from having a business manager, definitely you need to have access to the uh, web hosting, see control panel of each of these domain or landing page as the may, case may be, because you are going to copy and paste uh, uh, an HTML in an HTML header to actually verify this. So immediately I go to this place. Let's say I want to verify um, Provitality. I can verify anyone. So immediately I click this now. I click this now. From here, it will take you straight to business manager. So see why you need to have a business manager. I can't already verify business manager. So what do I need to do from here now is to add that particular uh, domain. What is that domain? Provitalityplus.com.ng. And you need to make sure that uh, it's actually very, very correct. So most time, in order to... Make sure that is correct. I just copy. So come here now. These are domain that are verified. This is very, very important for better measurement. This is very, very important if you also want to be using conversion API. Um, conversion API, it's a kind of a, a more backup and reliable data connection as opposed to Pixel. Pixel, there's a lot of things that have compromised with Pixel, mm -hmm. especially when you now have a uh, some browser now automatically by default as ad blocker. So what happened when there's ad blocker on your website and you have a pixel on your website, when the customer visits your website, you'll not be able to track anything and customize on your website. 
So that's why the fact that a customer on your website, your pixel will just be gray like this. So that could be as a sort of uh, ad blocker also. But when you have conversion API uh, from your own server, either you connect with partner, you connect with a uh, gateway like uh, AWS, or you do it uh, manually. From your own server, you are sending data to a uh, meta uh, server directly. So without inter interference of a uh, browser, as opposed to cookies on the browser. So basically, let's just go ahead. So to add and verify, so you just click add. Uh, you can request from other people that are using business manager, maybe your clients that you want to verify the domain. For them, you can do that. You request access and it's going to be sent to them and verify. But in this case, I want to add this, my domain. So I'll click the new domain and I'll paste that domain name here and I'll click add. Immediately I click add now, it's going to give you this instruction so that we need to add on the meta tag of HTML on the website. And this is the reason why I said you need to have... Uh, access to the web hosting of this. So I have access to this. It's my own website. It's my own business uh, landing page. So it's just one product landing page. I'm a new life promoter. So, and I do everything digitally basically, but this is applicable to any kind of business. So is this landing page, uh, it has a pixel already. This new ad account I want to use. So I want to be able to trap optimally. Yes, so you can see, so that I can retarget conversion API and some other stops like that. Okay. so. What I need to do is to log into the cPanel of this. So to log into the cPanel, I have the cPanel already logged in for security purpose. So all you just need to do is the domain name slash cPanel, then you supply the username and password uh, for that. So immediately you get to cPanel, what you need to do is go to the file manager. If you don't know how to do this, just follow the instructions that you have from here. It said, copy this, that's the first steps. So I'm copying this now, right? Then the next thing, go and paste it in the air tag of your HTML. After publishing, is you can visit the website and click verify. So what I will do now, I've copied that. Uh, where is the profitability? I've clicked File Manager, remember? So I'll go to Public. Then I'll go to the main page, which is this page. So you can see some other tracking. I'm very big when it's come traffic. You can see site map from Google Search Console. Uh, so I want to add that now. I will edit this so you can do this for wordpress too just just go to the host so if you don't know you can see a lot of code here if you don't know how to check your head tag you can just do control f so remember they said in the head tag can you see head so it's you could this less than greater than so what i'll just do is i will uh, what I would do in that sense here yeah, now, instead of looking for where's Ed, where's Ed, especially if you are novice to this, I'm a developer. So you can just type that here and click it. So can you see, show you the first one. So can you see, so in between here and uh, anywhere the head close, you can put it there. So this is where the head close. So I would just like to put it before it's closed here. So I'll paste this here, right? That's what we just copied and I will save. Right, immediately you save that, go back to uh, this and you confirm the verification. So I'll click this now, boom, this domain has been verified. So uh, in 2022, uh, better tracking, better bus uh, business decision and better profits, better sales, lower uh, ad costs. So that's better for you. So if you don't have a business manager, you can see a lot of things. I have a full video on business manager still on this channel. Uh, I think I did that. You can check my 365 days video, digital videos uh, on this channel, you see that. So that's simple on how to verify that. Should in case you miss anything, I will do that one more time for another domain. So if I refresh this, reload this now, vitality will already be verified, okay? Again, prerequisite, your web hosting control panel, uh, your business manager's account, very important. So let me do it now. Again, so if I want to do for this, I'll just click this now, uh, verify. It takes us straight back to, takes us straight back to, I have more than one landing page for this. So basically, yeah. Feasibility is the most important thing for me in anything. So now, I've clicked that again. Um, so to verify that, I'll just add this again. 
So I can just copy and paste. I guess that's already copied. Instead of the lighting, I just click and uh, it has copied to the clipboard. I can just come here, add again, paste it again, add. So again, so that first one is actually HMS CSS website, like raw coding website. Why this other one here? It's a WordPress website. Yeah, build on WordPress. Do you understand? It's a WordPress e-commerce, like a global website. You can see different country flags here. Yeah? So anywhere you are around the world can be purchased from things and it's going to be delivered to you. You can see anywhere around the world, you can become a digital new life develop, uh, promoter. So I also want to do that for you. You can see I'm tracking every little thing here. So, so what I need to do here, uh, again, is go to the panel of this. So the panel is already open, just like we did the other time. Uh, I will quickly go to the file manager as well. Um, so file manager. So I copy this guy too. Okay. File manager is this here. So then the same way I will look for that domain. Uh, index. Index, index, index. So public. No, 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 not here. Sorry. Um, this is a website, WordPress website, like I said, and I actually have more than one. Yes, yeah. So it's a kind of hosting space that I can build more than one website on. So you have it here. Uh, so here is it. So I'm looking for the index. Uh, okay, WordPress, okay, good. And uh, another thing I can do is for WordPress, you can also have uh, what we call a plugin. A plugin that like can use to like add and footer. So that's the name of the plugin. So you can use it to put both HTML, CSS code, right? But let's just do this first. So uh, this is what pressure so like I told you. This is an index and uh, it doesn't really have that yet because this is actually a PHP file. So I think what I might need to do is, um, what I might need to do is to just use the that header and footer code to paste that header and footer code. So I might need to do that. So, So like I said, this is a WordPress website. So, and you might not be able to uh, do that directly from uh, cPanel. So, and I know a lot of people will be using WordPress. Maybe you have been asking your question since the time I did the post model, what if I'm using WordPress? So can I go to your WordPress back office? I'm already logged in here and download a plugin called Header and Footer Codes Manager, HFCM. So when you download it, that plugin, uh, you can come in here and add a code snippet, right? 
So you can see different tracking on EDA. So it's the same thing. So, so to add a close snippet, uh, with that, so I can say add a close snippet to this. And uh, so I can say um, Facebook events. Okay. So it's an HTML, right? Uh, I want it on the entire website. So you can also special, uh, specify a specific page, entire website. Uh, header, right? So header is like saying, put it on the head. So I'll paste that code here and I will select it. So if if this doesn't work, but I believe this is going to work. If it doesn't work, so what I'm going to do is just to create an HTML file HTML file inside uh, this panel and I will inside this panel and I will just uh, verify just the same way of the first one. But I believe this is going to work. So after I've done that, uh, where is it? Okay, I think the second one. So after I've pasted that, I'll verify first to see whether that has worked. Yeah, verify now. Okay, good. So if you are using WordPress, you are good to go. If you are using the code base like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, just like in the ways of the first one of Provitality, you are good to go. So remember, Ada and Footer Code Manager, HFCM. So you can use that plugin on your WordPress website. So we've done it for this now. So all I can do right here is uh, reload this again too. So if you are using uh, OpenCAD as well, you can use this as well, OpenCAD. Any other CMS, uh, yeah, you can do that. So you can see uh, we've been able to verify both HMS CSS website, uh, building a code landing page from scratch. Uh, we will we'll be able to do if you are using WordPress, so you can see this is a WordPress. This is a HTML CSS uh, landing page. So you'll be able to know how to do that. I'll do this uh, other one later. This is actually an open cart website. I'll do all this one uh, later, uh, but at least you'll be able to know how to come verify that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and keep learning.